Hey guys, Andy here. Okay, so today we're going to do um, an improvers to an advanced level class, a kind of level two to three. Um, so if you are moving up a level, take your time, do what you feel you can. Okay, so starting off with a warm up, going to the end of my mat, I'm just going to step forward and scoop, and then step forward and scoop. I'm just trying to step into the foot, put my body weight forward. And then scooping down to get a bit of back bend. <clears throat> so the tempo will be a little bit quicker on this. Exercises will be tougher. So as I said, do what you feel you can and build into it. I'll do one more on each side. <clears throat> okay, good. So then I'm going to stand again in the middle of the mat. I'm going to step forward on my left leg, reverse lunge on my right leg, squat, then switch, forward on my right, reverse on my right, squat, forward on my left, reverse on my left, squat, forward on my right, reverse on my right, squat, keep going. I'm doing it nice and steady, nice and controlled, okay? I'm not, this isn't a hit class, so I'm not belting around, going mad. And squat, lovely. So I'm gonna stand towards the back of the mat, centered, lunge forward to my left, or sorry, side bend, or side lunge, side lunge to my right. Stay up nice and tall. Do a couple more. I'm stepping onto that foot and then exploding off. So I'm using that foot to press away. Okay, good. Then I'm going to come to the end of the mat for a little walk out. Nice and loose, nice and relaxed. Flex forward, walk it out. Drop the hips, look through, and walk it back in. I'll do five. I'm being as deliberate as I can with my walkouts, making sure my hands are, they're nearly grabbing the mat as I walk out. I'll do one more. And back. Good job. Okay, so just to warm ourselves up a little bit more in terms of wrists and ankles and knees, we're gonna do bear crawls. So um, they're tricky. If you can't do them backwards, turn around and walk forwards again. So you're on all fours at the end of your mat. You come up off your knees and you walk, time and hands and legs moving, then you stop and you reverse. So the reverse is the hard one. And keep your hips low. Look, I'm bent at my knees. My arse isn't up in the air, all right? It's down low, like a bear. And walk forwards and backwards four or five times. Nice and slow and deliberate again. We'll do one more. Excellent stuff. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to come in, lie down. So from here, two legs into tabletop. I'm going to tap the left leg down and tap the right leg down. Again, get a nice control through the core. Count me breathing down a little. Good. Hold that there, extend the left leg, extend the right leg. Again, keeping that core nicely connected. Because it's an improver to advanced, 
you know, it is, a, it is expected that you know to be keeping everything connected. I will remind you from time to time that you need to be checking in with yourself. Perfect, hold that there. Drop that left leg down to the floor, lock everything in, keep the right leg in tabletop. We bring that left leg up and down as we work through the ankle. Stay nice and strong. Don't let that right leg move. One more. Good stuff. Now I'm gonna put the right leg back down on the floor and I'm gonna come straight up into some bridge work, bringing that left leg up and down as I'm bridging up through the right. And then on this one, I'm gonna stay up in my bridge and start to circle that leg around. Trying to keep that right leg nice and still, and then switch it back. And stuff. <clears throat> Gonna keep that right leg out straight, left leg in tabletop again, and take it up and down through the right leg now. Keep that core switched on. Nice and still through that left leg. And keep breathing. So if this is a little bit quicker, a little bit harder, just try and hold on to the principles. Nice, good core. Breathe through the exercise. And then I'm going to pop my right leg down onto the right foot onto the floor. I'm going to come up and down through the right leg as we're bridging up and down through the left leg. Again, nice and slow, nice and steady. Nicely grounded through that left foot. And then some circles with that right leg. And then switch them the other way. Good stuff. And a little stretch through. And then we're going to extend that left leg long, keep that right leg in tabletop, and we're going to switch. One, two, one, two, one, two. Staying nice and connected through the core. Little gap in the small of the back all the time with this. Let's go faster. Five, four, three, two, one and stretch through the right leg and then stretch through the left leg good stuff so hands up to the ceiling feet bent up knees bent up feet flat on the floor bridge up lift those heels and let's walk out along our heels down out as low as you can go as long as you can go so i'm fully extended here but my bum is an inch off the floor and then bring it back in again and back out. So good for the hamstrings or not, depending on how tough you find it. Good. And then I'm going to go out a little bit further. About halfway, I'm going to lift the left leg, lift the right leg, and just do a couple of those. Just from about halfway out now, because you yeah, might be just too much on the four hamstrings to do it any longer. One, two, one, two, and then walk it back in and down. Good. Grab those knees, give them a little pull. Okay. So I've got my right hand behind my head. I've got my two legs into tabletop and I've got my left arm down by my side and I'm going to do a crunch with a twist so I'm going to keep in my right keep my head in my right hand I'm going to lift into a crunch and reach down towards the, my side and back down again so it's a crunch and a reach to the left so you're getting a bit of an oblique move going on keep those legs nice and still in tabletop Protecting that neck. Two more. 
And you want to feel a crunch down into that left lower quadrant of those abs. So then I'm going to switch <clears throat> left hand behind the head, right arm down by my side, left leg up, right leg up into tabletop, and then I crunch and I reach to away down by my side. So if my feet were on the floor, I'm reaching for my right ankle. One more. Good stuff, excellent. And just to continue with that rotational theme, <clears throat> two hands behind the head, two legs into tabletop, and we'll do our little bicycle crunch. So I'm gonna extend my left leg as I bring my right left shoulder to my right knee, then back down and switch. Extend the right leg, right shoulder to left knee. And again, you're protecting that head. Keep it nice and relaxed in the hands. And think about lifting with your core and your abs and your guts and everything else in between. Stay strong. And extend the legs away, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there, hold it there. I'm gonna extend the legs, head and shoulders off the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, and finish on the right, so I'm even. Excellent stuff. Okay, we're gonna work it from the lower abs. No such thing. Okay, so from here, lying flat down, I'm gonna take my knees into tabletop and then put them back down. If this is a bit too tricky for you, slide your feet in up to tabletop and then pop them and slide them away. So we're trying to take them up and down, up and down, up and down. One more, up and down. Okay, now, I'm gonna bring my legs all the way up over my head. You can do them either as a straight leg or what we just did there. So straight leg is this, up you come straight legs. Use your hands to get you over, pause, and then slowly roll back down. Okay, or if it's tricky getting the legs up, take, bend the knees, come in, come up, and then extend as you roll over, okay? So don't mind, and then as you come back down, bending the legs, straighten them out. So give us a few more. And you're controlling the descent. Don't just flop back onto the floor. You use the hands down into the mat to get you up. And then you lower them down. Good stuff. I'm gonna do one more after this. And I'm gonna hold the legs over my head and kick them like I'm swimming. Four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, so we're gonna come up onto our hands. So you your hips in your hands. We're up tall like this, and we're just gonna cycle. Keeping that core engaged. And then we're gonna cycle in reverse. Lovely, and then we're gonna have our legs up like so. We're gonna do the splits. One leg forward, bring it back, and then the other leg. Keep that tummy tight. Now, tricky one, legs over the head, and back up tall to the ceiling. Don't fall. And then stay up there, slide the left leg down, keep that right leg pointed. And bring the right leg down, keep the left leg pointed. Try and stay really straight. One more on each side. 
excellent stuff and we roll up into this beautiful okay warm up done <laughs> only messing okay back on all fours so we work up through the different progressions on this just to get it, get, get it going so toes curled in under elbows slightly bent belly button sucked in and I lift the knees off the mat and lower back down and I draw the belly button in as I'm lifting and then lower and relax good stuff okay so slight variation of this knees off the mat and you tap your right knee down tap your left knee down two ten times four five six seven eight nine ten and down so this will start to really burn your quads okay slight variation on that one again staying with the knees off the floor we lift the right foot lift the left foot so it's like doing the bear crawl that we did at the start so five four three two one done and then there's a really tough version of that now coming up so um if you don't feel you're able for just repeat one or two of the other ones you just did okay so you're back onto the toes knees off the mat and you extend your right leg back fully bring it in and extend the left leg back fully and that's it so all the weight is going down through the support leg so five four three two one done and rest give those wrists a bit of a shake as well excellent work okay staying on those wrists for a sec so i'm on my knees i'm gonna slide my left leg back slide my right leg back and then I'm gonna hold this position. I'm gonna keep just sliding the leg in and out. Kind of like a mountain climber, only slower. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down. Quick little stretch if you need it. Then I'm going to turn onto my left side. Now I'm doing a side plank with my legs straight. You can bend your knees and do them on your knees. Just make sure left elbow is under left shoulder. I've got my top leg in front of my bottom leg and I pop and I hold. And breathe. Now make sure you're nicely pushing down through that left elbow to get that shoulder solid, you're not hanging in through your shoulder. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, just twist around. Concentrate, good and strong. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, onto the elbows, two of them, and then we saw forwards and backwards. So I'm rocking through my ankles and through my shoulders, five, four, three, two, one, done, stretch. Good. <clears throat> so into my little mermaid position. So I'm gonna drop over and then come up. Drop over and then come up. And one more, drop over and come up. Lovely. So, from here, 
full side bends, left hand down, right foot in front of left foot, knee bent up. I'm gonna drive down through my right leg to come to here and then sit back down. Three of these. And then stay in hold and twist under and back. Twist under and back and turn two hands on the floor and just hold that plank. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lovely stretch. Side so bends the other side. Sorry, mermaids. So we're gonna drop down and back. Okay, good. So left leg bent up this time, right hand far away, drive down through this left foot to here. And then open the knees to sit down. And then up you come. Hold the wonder. And back. Under. And back. Ooh, nearly fell. And turn from here. Shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down and stretch. Good stuff. Kneeling. <clears throat> okay. So I'm up tall. I'm going to drop out to my right side. Left leg out like so. I'm just going to lift that left leg up and down five times, but then here's the trick. I'm now gonna lift my, oh, lift my lower leg. Let's try that again. Okay, so in a kneeling position, left leg out, right hand down, two, three, four, five. Now here's the hard one. You lift that lower leg up and down, two, three, four, five, and then you switch. If that's too tricky, just do an extra leg lift, okay? Switch out to my left side, lock it in. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, keep coming. Switch sides, lift up that left leg, bring it forward. Bring it back, bring it forward, bring it back. So I'm not moving anywhere else through my upper body, keeping everything really still, forward and back five times. Leg back into the center, swing it forward once, twice, three times, four times, five times. <laughs> it's tough on the wrists. Okay, switch her over. <clears throat> Top leg up, tap it forward once, twice, three, four, five. Back long, lock it in, lift it up, one, two, three, four, five. So look, they're all quite hard, so do Substitute anything you want in there. It's no problem. Back over to my right. Last one. From here, we're gonna circle. And then back the other way. And then hold, just do little lifts again. One, two, three, four, five, and down. That right wrist doesn't like them. 
and then hold that position again to the left, leg into tabletop and circle. And back. Lovely, and get ready, lock it in, lift one, two, three, four, five, and down. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, we go back onto our backs to give our wrists and shoulders a break. <clears throat> okay, so from here, hands down by my side, taking my left, legs in, left leg into tabletop, right leg into tabletop. I'm going to lift my head and chest off the floor, arms out straight. So these are hundreds, keeping that low back with a little gap in the small of the back. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. So keep breathing, that's 20. I'm going to extend those legs, keep going. They're called hundreds because we do 100. Keep breathing, that's 30. If you want to take the legs in, you can. Keep breathing. I'm going to lower the legs, that's 40. Then raise the legs, keep breathing. That's 50, take the legs back into tabletop. Extend the left leg long. That's 60. Extend the right leg long. 70, keep breathing. Left leg. 80, right leg. 90, hold the two together, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and in. That was more like 120s as opposed to hundreds. Good stuff, nice all stretch. Brilliant. Two hands up, two legs up. Head up or down now, depending on how it feels after, how the neck feels after those hundreds. Dead bugs, opposite arm, opposite leg. Take it in, opposite arm, opposite leg. Four, three, two, I always start counting down on the wrong leg and last one and stretch nice so from here wrapped up like a ball extend the arms and legs away scoop the arms around hug it in and extend hug it in and extend Now reverse the arms the other way. Hug it in. And reverse. Hug it in. One more. Hug it in. Head down, arms by your side. Extend those legs long. Kick. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it in. And then go again, kick, and we're going to crisscross one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, nine, ten. Oh, you know it's bad when your, oh, your lower abs start to roar at you. Jesus. Okay. Whew. <clears throat> See if we can get up and down after them. Roll downs. <clears throat> Up nice and tall, arms out straight, rolling down. See if your abs work to get you back up again. Remember you can cheat and put your feet under the couch. And again. Let's do five. Let's do. Three. Now, I'm going to try and come up as I take my left leg into tabletop. One. Two. Three. Four. Bit of cheating going on. Try one, two more without cheating. Oh, there we go. No lunging. No lunging, Andy. No hoofing. Uh, 
when you get stuck. Oh. Whew. Sweating now, lads. Okay, good. A few push-ups, and then we might wind it down from there, okay? <clears throat> so we'll, we'll be nice, and we'll start the push-ups in progress. Abs are on fire, lads. So, down with the nose, kick out with the leg. Switch down with the other nose, and kick out the other leg. Keep all the weight in the hands. One or two more. Okay. Then we're gonna bring those hands forward and the shoulders go forward with them. Hips go into a straight line. Now try and do these with the elbows close to the body. Keep your bum low. Just be grounded through those hands. Two more. One more. Excellent stuff. Okay, so a full push up now. You don't want to do these ones, do more on your knees now. Look. So from here, down you go. And try single leg one. And I'm going to switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And one or two more. I'm dying. Last one. Oh, holy hell. So that was my little finisher for me anyway, right? So you can keep going if you want to keep going. I'm doing a cool down. Okay, well done. So that's obviously a big jump up from what we were doing. So take your time. So sitting back, knees together, coming forward. And just closing my mouth and breathing through my nose. I'm trying to keep, sorry, <laughs> trying to keep my breath under control now. And then I'm going to bring the legs out wide. And then I'm going to come forward on the hands, drop through. Sit back. Drop in again. And sit back. And then I'm going to come up onto all fours. Take my left hand, pass it in underneath. Bring it up to the ceiling. And then change. stuff I'm just gonna cross my left leg over into a pigeon stretch and sit back into that and just rest in there good switch so I'm gonna cross my right leg over sit back into my right hip Good. Then I'm going to go into a nice little hip flexor stretch because I do a lot of cycling. I have like my pelvis is, is rotated forward I'm on the bike every day, even cycling to, to work and stuff. So hip flexors get fairly tight. So I'm a forward on my coming forward over my right foot, left arm in the air, side bend away, and then I do a nice one where I rotate round with the right arm. When I'm still coming forward and side bending away. So it's kind of the three moves a hip flex would work with us to do. Change. Left foot forward, right arm in the air. Bring yourself forward over your left foot. 
stay tall, relax into it. And I'm still on my core switched on ever so slightly. I don't want to have a big, big kind of back extension. I still want to have a little bit of uh, connection through there. Side bend to my left, keep breathing. Left arm out and rotate it round. So we're opening up through a kind of a side bend, forward flexion with a rotation. And then release it back. And then we're going to walk our hands to our feet to stand up and shake it all out. And then kick it through the legs. And from here, nice little roll down, show you from the side, taking the breath in. And then chin to chest down you go. Hang there. Take your breath in and push up through the feet, stack up through the spine. Shoulders back, chin tucked in. And again, breathe in. And down. Same again, breath in. Exhale, stack up through the spine. And then last one. Take a breath in, drop down. And then from down here, breathe in. And flop. And again. And flop. And one more. And flop. And slowly stacking back up. All right, good stuff. Well done. Catch you soon.